Namaste. Welcome to Bend and Blend Yoga. Before I get started talking about yoga and about this channel, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Sindur and I am a yoga practitioner and a student. I started practicing Ayanga style yoga under my guru Mahantesh for three years and I got my 200 hours Ashtanga Yoga TTC that stands for Teacher Training Certificate under my Guru Praveen Somo in Mysore. Coming to Ben and Blend Yoga channel, if you are absolute beginners to yoga, this is a perfect place for you to get started with yoga, perfect your practice and be the best version of yourself. Talking about what is yoga? As we all know, yoga is a holistic way of approaching life, it's a spiritual journey, yoga is science, etc, etc. To put it in a simple word, yoga is synergizing the body, mind and soul. It's union of body, mind and soul. Through asanas, you can understand your body, achieve physical strength and mental stability. Now coming to who can practice yoga. Yoga is for everyone. You, there is no particular size that I have to practice yoga. There is no age limit. There is no religion, nothing. Everyone can practice yoga. Especially people with medical condition, they have to get started with yoga. Why one should practice yoga? A person might be a sportsman, doctor, housewife, an engineer, it doesn't matter. The question is, are you at the best shape of your life? Are you agile enough to face the stress and the strain that our lifestyle throws at us? If not, with disciplined practice of asanas, pranayama and dhyana, one can achieve self-awareness, respect our body, if not, be at peace with whatever we have. Today, let us keep it simple and learn three basic steps or techniques about yoga. That is how to breathe, how to stand, and how to sit. Now coming to the first techniques that is how to breathe. In regular course we generally don't observe our breathing because it's an involuntary action that takes place in our body. We just breathe in and breathe out. We don't give importance to the pattern. Now let us take a moment to observe our breathing. Let us close our eyes, place our palm on our stomach, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in again and breathe out. So what did you observe? When you inhaled, did your abdomen contract or expand? Most of us would have abdominal contraction while inhaling and expansion while exhaling, which is wrong. Let us take a Example of a balloon. When you blow in the air into the balloon, it expands and when you remove the air, it contracts. That's how our stomach has to behave. Now coming to the second technique, that is how to sit. We sit hours and hours together in front of computer, in front of TV and in front of our gadgets with our loose shoulders, with our absolutely loose abdomen and we sit on our tailbone. This can create lower back issues and lumbar pain. So let us correct the posture. Now I'll show you how to correct the posture while sitting. We generally sit this way and work. So with a loose shoulder, tailbone out and loose abdomen or else we will completely contract our abdomen and hunch our back, which is wrong. Now, let us get a little bit awareness by tightening our abdomen and tucking in the tailbone and the spine should correctly fall on the back of your chair. Contract your abdomen, draw your belly button in, breathe in and breathe out. Loosen your shoulders, do not create pressure on your shoulder. Loosen it and next should be tall and straight. Coming to the third technique, that is how to stand. Here we'll adopt the same techniques of sitting. That is drawing the belly button in 
and keeping our abdomen active spine straight tailbone in i will show it to you in the sideways as well see i'm drawing the belly button in and my core is absolutely activated spine is absolutely straight and tailbone is tucked in your weight should be distributed on both of your feet your you'll actually feel the weight being transferred from your hip to your feet there will be tutorials for absolute beginners intermediary and advanced and also i'll be doing some of the tutorials for people who have medical conditions like lower back issues arthritis and bp you can follow me on the instagram and facebook you can also email to me the below mentioned address